Welcome, as always. Just enjoy this first few minutes while I figure out my stuff. <laughs> it's always, you know, a struggle. <laughs> Let's see what we got going on here. I just like to have my chat separate, that's all. You know, it's not that I'm actually not prepared. I mean, <laughs> although, you know, how prepared can you be for these? There is not much you can do. JC Lowe, good evening, how are you doing? How is Jackson? Jackson's sleeping, you guys. Um, he was so excited after the last live feed. Oh my God, he was like, we need to do this every day. I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, I can barely make it every week. <laughs> Hi, Chucky, nice to see you. Thank you for being here. Hi, Eggs and Ham 22, how are you doing? John Wick, notification gang. You know it, best gang ever. Nice to see you. Hi, John Wesker, how are you doing? Chucky, thank you so much for using the LFD emojis. I love them. Hi, Patron36, Zach Austin, Timothy, Nick E.D. Steer, Israel, Chris Lewis, Mateo, how are you doing? Do you got your swag last week? Oh, you got my swag. I see now. Oh, thank you. Good. I'm glad you did. So when he's talking about swag, he's talking about stickers. Um... You guys, I'm actually not charging for these. I am giving them to the community. I think that's the least I can do. So if you want them, email me or DM me. Um, I still have not figured out a way to actually connect with people within YouTube. So on Instagram, you can DM me. I'm Little Fit Devil, or you can um, just send me an email littlefitdevil at outlook.com. Actually, all my information is in the description of every video, including this one. So reach out to me, I'll send you some. Let's see, hi, Neil Satterfield. Penny, how are you doing today? Hi, John Cloden, Richard Chase, Goondocks, Raphael, Dustin Walker. How are you, everybody? Thank you so much for being here. Happy Saturday. Hi, William and David Anderson and David Hodges. John, thank you so much for using the emojis. I love them. They actually do look pretty cool. Eggs and ham 22. Now, where is the best mod in the business? <laughs> He's talking about this one, maybe? Or what are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about Zach. I don't know where he's at, but here's the thing, you guys. Like, I try not to bother people. So, um, when I go live, I kind of leave it to you know, whatever is going to happen. Um, cause I know there's just so many people going live in the weekends and not enough moderators. So anyway, um, okay. I don't want to miss anyone. Hi, Ryan. Hi, LC, D71 Garcia and Sean Martin and T and Tanto and L17 AR15 and everybody. Thank you for being here. You guys, I do these live feeds every single week. Today, I am actually going to do a few different things. First off, I got my Orion Solaris. I want to say three weeks ago, maybe more. And it's still in the package because I told myself I really wanted to do a nice review and I wanted to make sure that a lot of people would see it. However, I'm so backed up with reviews, you guys. It's insane. Um, I'm gonna show you today um, all the new stuff I got and then everything that's gonna come up in reviews. So um, look, so God, this box, this box is full of knives. Um, I also have a uh, new saw here. I have um, the knives that I'm giving away over here. So I'm gonna talk about all of this, you guys. Let's see, I'm, I'm gonna try to do this at the same time. Maybe I should move my iPad closer to the screen so you guys don't need to see me kind of like looking back and forth. There we go. I think we're good. All right, so first up, you guys, let me remind you of one thing. Chicago23, hello, how are you doing? I almost missed you. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for the pair. That is my most favorite emoji for the record. Thank you so, so much for contributing to the live chat. I appreciate it. The screen is a bit blurry. Is it just him or is it everybody? I just want to know. It looks okay on my side. I have not changed anything, so I hope nothing is fudged up today. So let me tell you first about the giveaways, and then I'm going to open this knife because I cannot wait. You guys, it has been in this box for too long. So first up, the giveaway that is live here on YouTube 
is a QB. This is the QB Wolverine. I have reviewed it and I have opened a giveaway. So this one, you can participate. It's live. I reviewed this on Monday, I believe. So it is, today I reviewed a an EDC belt, uh, gun belt. The review prior to that one, it's this one. You can also find it in the um, folder knife review um, playlists. So please participate. It will be open until next Monday. Israel, how are you doing? Thank you so much for participating and for contributing to the live chat. You are amazing. And he did send the pair that works out. <laughs> The pair does a lot of like upper body and like not much on the on the leg area. Thank you so much, Israel. I really appreciate the contribution. And it's funny, you guys, everybody here that support me make my day so much. Mateo, thank you so much. Don't forget to give the good doctora a thumbs up. She rocks. That would be me. I'm the doctora. Um, I am a real doctor, you guys. I'm not a medical doctor, but I have a PhD. Therefore, you can call me doctor and that's all right. Or you can call me Carla or LFD or Little Foot Devil. I mean, I go by everything. My son calls me the Tickle Monster. You know, it's, it's one of those things. I just have multiple, multiple names. So Goondogs is asking if he saw a cold steel in the giveaway. Yes, you guys. Okay, so the QB I'm giving away on YouTube. I think that's pretty straightforward. Second, I'm giving away three cold steels on my Instagram. The three cold steels are gonna be two kudus and one double safe make, um, hunter. Safe maker, there is a safe maker that I already reviewed, but that's a double safe hunter. Um, so let me show you guys, cause they're, they're pretty cool. Um, hi everybody joining by the way. Hi Joaquin, Neville Cloud, Timothy, Roger Fields, um, and everybody. I'm trying to, to get caught with you guys, but I, I think we're good. Okay, now. Second up, these are live also on my Instagram, the three triple knife giveaway. They are two kudus. This is the kudu by Cold Steel. I will be reviewing it actually in the next few days here on YouTube, but the giveaway is on Instagram. So don't forget to go participate there. Uh, you will just see me holding the double safe hunter and the kudu kind of wearing like sunglasses. That's where you participate. The good is pretty cool. I can't wait to review it. It has this sort of like grenade looking mechanism to close the knife, which is kind of weird, but in a way unusual. That's the kudu. And let's, um, I'll show you the double safe hunter while we're at it. I love the camo on this. The camo on this is actually better than my military camo, you guys. I, it's pretty neat. So if you're like, like uh, into hunting or whatever, this one's a, a really good one. So two kudus, one of these for giveaway um, on my um, Instagram. I'm actually doing this in collaboration with Bosto Blaze. They're about to get 3,000 um, followers on Instagram, so we're doing three knives. So the chances are pretty high of you getting it. Go ahead and participate. Also, talking about giving away things, I am about to hit 35,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Super cool, you guys. Um, interestingly enough, it all happened because one of my short videos went viral. It's actually at about a million views. And of course, you know, I always talk about this because I think it's kind of funny. Um, all the haters come to say hello when a video goes viral. And that's, you know, kind of okay. Um, but also my channel grew a lot, very, very rapidly. So I'm gonna be giving away something else, something cool. It's not gonna be just one knife. I think I'm gonna do like a multiple knife, you know, from my collection, some new knives, some stickers. So stay tuned for that. Cause as soon as I hit 35,000, I will do a giveaway video. So it's not gonna be a review or anything. It's gonna be just a massive 35K subscribers giveaway. So stay tuned for that. I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss that. Uh, thank you guys for, um, letting me know about this, the screen. So if you guys want to change your settings, if you're not seeing me well, please do. Okay, let's see what else. And don't worry, John, no big deal. <laughs> okay, so. Is there an LFD Funko Pop? <laughs> Man, imagine. 
How cool would that be? I do have, I mean, you, you guys know, I have a bunch. You guys saw in one of my latest reviews, I have a Funko Pop collection over here. Um, I used to have a Funko that was named Carla that was from an anime called Fairy Tale, And I lost it when I moved to Florida. I don't know if I lost it while I was moving or whatever, but um, too bad, honestly, really too bad. Anyway, let's keep at it. Oh, and of course, in all of my giveaways, I give away Little Fit Double stickers as well. Now, I got a couple of new things. So, SOG sent me a couple of things. Um, they're really amazing to work with, honestly. Um, and the knives that they have sent me are really great. I have reviewed already uh, three SOGs in my channel. I'm going to be reviewing two more. And I do love what they're doing lately. Holy crap, they really upped their game, you know? Um, this is the, the Terminus XR LTE. Um, I love it so much. Um, I don't want to give it away, right? Because, um, give it away meaning I don't, <laughs> I, I would give it away, but I don't want to give away how much I like it. Uh, cause I am planning on doing a review, but pretty damn cool. That's the Terminus XR. And then I also got, let's see, which one was this? Oh, this, the Stout. And I haven't had a chance to play much with this, um, but I kind of love it. It's really um, small. Oh, I, you guys know I'm pretty small. And so big knives really tend to kind of feel so big, um, especially to carry them, right? So this one's pretty good. So SOG reviews coming up. I always like to give you guys what's coming up so that you guys know. Also coming up is a lot of EDC gear, you guys. I want to make sure that I also... Um, take care of the gun community, of the people that are into guns that are following me. So I'm going to start providing videos like that. Um, I'm really excited, honestly. Let's see, what are, what are you people saying? Oh, LT17 AR15, I, I just said that, exactly, yes. I'm going to be doing more gun stuff for sure. So I started this channel as a knife review channel, but I, I do understand that first of all, guns and knives go hand in hand. And second, that I am a supporter of the Second Amendment no matter what, so why not um, just tap into both um, markets, I guess, and appeal to more people. Anyway, who was that? Bert! Rainy Day Fund! Thank you so much, Bert. Let me tell you, Bert is a military member who, honestly, I, I, don't, I have not had a bad experience with any of my military comrades. I feel like everybody supports each other so much and they are really amazing people. And Bert is one of them. He's always here on my live feeds. So thank you so much, Bert, for being around. Thank you for the rainy day fund. I will definitely put it to good use. Um, I do have some plans for the next couple of days, you guys. So um, this week, this coming week, I'm, I'm actually off of work uh, and I will be touring Bastinelli Knives. You guys know that I'm a huge fan. So they are actually out of Orlando, around the area. So I cannot wait. I'm going to go tour it. And I'm really excited. I am also going to be, um, in a couple of months, I'm going to be participating in their calendar. So what a cool opportunity. I mean, talk about cool things happening, right? Um, that your most favorite knife company invites you not only, you know, to tour the company and, you know, not to mention they're amazing people. I mean, I met the I met um, Bastian and his family, but also I'm gonna be part of the calendar this year. Ah, super cool, super super cool. So I'm really excited. There he is, the best moderator in the entire universe. Zach, how are you doing? And my dad is in in here as well. Hi JJ, everybody, say hello to my dad. Be nice. Thank you so much, Bert. I appreciate you so so much. Mateo, don't forget to thumbs up. Carla, she rocks. Please remember to thumbs up if you want to. <laughs> uh, let's see. Roger Fields. Uh, yeah, he knows that I have an office space, a Bill Lumberg um, Funko. One of my latest acquisitions, actually. I really like that one. Um, let's see. Chicago 23 recently purchased the SOG XR in brass. I love it. Oh, my gosh. Lucky you. I really wanted the one in brass, and it looks amazing. Um, I had the, um, just the, um, carbon fiber with the, the same as this finish, honestly. Still super sweet. 
but I did love that that blade and gold super nice any chance on reviewing the Espada XL excellent knife yeah you know guys um I work closely with Bostil Blades um they're uh, an amazing company and that's who I do the giveaways with and they carry pretty much any cold steel knife out there I know they don't have the Espada XL in stock but I'm really trying to get it because you guys have asked so so much for it actually while we're at it um I did get a box from them so it's not an actual unboxing because i just couldn't help myself um but let me tell you um you guys like before i'm gonna scroll because i'm don't i don't want to miss anything today l l17 ar15 picked up a crkt ceo flipper i have a normal um uh regular crkt ceo and i actually really liked it so the flipper is definitely an upgrade and good call good pick right there Okay, I think we're good. Someone's saying that my shirt matches my blanket. It does, you guys. So I'm a huge fan of things, space, cosmos, kind of like galaxy patterns. I have workout shoes that I have designed. They're Vans, you know, I don't know if you guys know, but um, you can actually design your own Vans. They cost the same as a normal pair. I think it's $10 extra. And you can create your own pattern. So I created this cool galaxy pattern and those are the shoes I work out with, that I lift with. And then this dress, I actually came from a collaboration with um, a brand from the UK, Fem Lux, and it's so sweet. It actually, oh, I can't, I'm gonna show you. See, it has like a little witch here and all the bats, also I'm a Batman fan, so kind of a cute little dress. And then as I'm looking around, I kind of feel like I keep on seeing more galaxy things. I have my, my iPad cover, also galaxy. <laughs> Uh, it's like, you know, I'm so predictable. <laughs> anyway. Everybody saying hello to Zach. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for saying hi to my dad as well. Um, someone's asking, did you paint the art on the wall? Well, I actually made it. I didn't paint it. So here's what I did, you guys. My initial plan was to get this super sweet wallpaper and put it all in that wall. Well, that was not going to work. So I decided to start cutting the wallpaper and creating art with it. So I created that thing and the two paintings, let's see if you see them on this side, one there and one there. And let me show you while we're at it because this is actually kind of cool. I also did my desk, see? So my desk, I covered it with wallpaper. So you have kind of like that fun finish, like what I have in the back of my wall, but my whole desk is the same way and my nightstands. So my nightstands also, uh, let's see if I can. My nightstand is sort of the same way on the top. So anyway, uh, it was one creative moment and I think it actually worked out. But it's it's um it's um wallpaper that has um like a sticky back, so it's um it's kind of like a sticker, like a sticker wallpaper. Yeah, I got it on um, Amazon. Let's see, <laughs> cool galactic theme. I know, I know you guys. All right, now, yeah, I'm a. Uh, I'm a woman of many trades, interestingly enough. Um, okay, so I received also that it's coming up for reviews. The 4 Max Scout. I mean, not as large perhaps as the Espada XL. Um, perhaps not as large as the Luzon. But holy dang, this thing weighs a million pounds. No, it doesn't, but 10.2 uh, ounces. <laughs> feels really heavy. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Another cold steel. We have the Recon 1, also coming up for review. Um, I have a couple of spider coats, which I'm excited about. I haven't reviewed a spider coat in quite a bit. This one, I think it's the Tasman Salt 2. Kind of a little guy. Excited to review this one. It kind of seems uh, pretty lightweight, actually. Uh, reminds me of my Delica 4. And what else do we have? Another Spider Co. This one is the Kali 3.5. There we go. 
this is kind of nice too. I um, I love the shape of the blade on this one. Excited, excited to review these. So, and then let's see, I actually am reviewing, you guys know, um, I'm, I'm kind of a, I have this kind of new found love with GEC knives. Um, that's Great Eastern Cutlery. So they are traditional knives. They always come in these cool tubes. I do have four or five in my collection now. I think I have five now. Uh, but they're typically uh, traditional pocket folding knives, kind of like resembling what you would have seen back in the day, like sort of like your first kind of pocket knives. Well, they came up with a... Um, with fixed blades versions and I cannot wait to review this thing. This is freaking so gorgeous, you guys. And it comes like, look at that. It's like a piece of history. It's so beautiful, I mean, look at the sheath. Look at it. Look how sweet this is. It's like, I need to go to a ranch and, you know, and, and use it. So freaking awesome. Um, I, I love it because, you know, I don't know about functionality per se, right? Like you would have in like a spider coat. But how do you love the artistry on these things? They are uh, different. They're cool. I like that. Okay. They say hi to Penny. <laughs> if knifing doesn't work out, you can sell art. Hey, I know, right? Uh, Salt series knives are awesome. Yeah, you're right. I actually want to have been meaning to review a salt one, so I'm, I'm kind of glad I got my hands on that. The 4 Max is huge, actually. Let's actually see. I'm, I'm curious because it feels ginormous. But I also did re just review the large Luzon. Oh my god! <laughs> you guys, look at this thing! <laughs> the, the large Luzon is larger, but this actually feels like it oh my god can i even open this let's see Woo! <laughs> it's gigantic <laughs> well and you know why i feel like i'm a little bit more taken back by this one because the luzon is um is not as heavy this really feels like an axe <laughs> it's cool looking though super um it's meaty. What did I say? What was? Oh, and look, the closing on this. You really need to like press on that. Um, ten point two ounces. Overall length ten inches. So the Luzon is definitely larger by like at least three inches, I believe. Uh, let's see. Oh, John just ordered that one. You guys, after I reviewed the Luzons, everybody was telling me they were ordering them. And you know, it is kind of, if you guys haven't seen my review, I review both together, the medium and the large Luzon. And both combined, I think the total price would be something like 65 bucks. So one is 30, one is 35. Um, and you can even find them for a little cheaper than that. So for, for 60 bucks, you get these like two kind of ridiculous knives in a pretty good way um conversation starter slash you know what the heck is this i always say that i like cold steel because they have such a tude when it comes to designing right they just do whatever they want they have no fear um and you know they mix the tactical with the everyday carry and like the shapes and the materials they i have heard um nick shabazz actually mentioning this which i didn't really even realize um they use like at least three different fonts in their um knives and in their marketing you know it's it's crazy you know they do whatever the heck they want and they're good they're good at it people like them a lot they people collect them and now you know after they've been sold to gsm outdoors a few months back people are panic buying and i mean why not some of them are honestly pretty cool designs kind of like your your trusty budget knife and i have not reviewed a lot of cold steel that are expensive however the budget line of cold steel is pretty damn good i mean it's definitely you know i would pick it as kind of like if i had to pick a budget brand i would go with cold steel most likely so anyway yeah i have reviewed quite a lot of cold steels already and as you can see at least i have four more coming up so there you have it <laughs> Let's 
see. Am I missing something, you guys? I don't know. Give me a second, guys. I'm, <laughs> I talk too much. <laughs> and this thing doesn't scroll for me. What would you recommend for a noob? Moderately expensive knives, 100 to 200 range. You know, there's just so much in that range. It really depends on what you're looking for. You know, Benchmade does some great knives on that range. Zach is actually the main reviewer, honestly, for Benchmades. They are amazing. Spider Coast, um, the Manix is pretty cool in that range. The Paramilitary 2 is really good in that range. The Paramilitary 3 is good in that range. But, I mean, it's just so much. It really depends on what you're using it for, for me to give you a better recommendation. I mean, heck, my most favorite knife, my Crambit by Bastianelli, I think it's 179 so it would even be in that range as well. So, again, self-defense, everyday carry, you know, a mixture, fixed blade, folders, there's quite a bit. But at, at least I think I gave you a few brands and models, too, so at least you can start looking at it. What's happening here? I don't even know what the heck. <laughs> Someone was watching some sort of like metal video and then they showed up in my live feed. Who knows? I mean, all sorts of weird things happen. Good evening, everybody. Oh, hey, who's going to the Blade Show? I'm going to the Blade Show. Am I going to meet you guys there? I should have a humongous party with knife lovers. Um... Yeah, I'm super excited. Like, I cannot freaking wait to go to the Blade Show. I'm talking about the one in Atlanta, by the way. The one in June, if it still happens. Anyone here going? Okay. People are singing here. <laughs> kind of funny. Wait, living Mateo, that's hilarious. Uh, Zach is restricted by work, travel, quarantine, so no Atlanta for him. That's tough, Zach. Um, okay, it's time, you guys. I need to. I need to open this thing because it can't just sit here for another million million weeks. You know. Okay, so came in this box I actually already unsealed it but here's what we're looking at so this is the Orion Solaris so push the button here we go and we've got a Orion knives sticker and a little card that says it has a limited lifetime warranty and Solaris means of the sun so, you guys, this uh, knife has been designed by Blade Banter. He's also the person who sort of started this amazing group called the Apex Pass Around Group. And if you are really into knife reviews and you are kind of familiar with people reviewing knives, you know that people name this Pass Around Group. It's an amazing thing that allows all of us to review different knives and connect in the community um, of knife lovers. So I'm um, appreciative that I'm part of that. And uh, I decided to support Blade Banter with his design. So I purchased one. Uh, I know they're sold out now, but I think they're coming back up, hopefully. Um, and here we go. Okay, Mateo. Did I miss you, Mateo? Is it Dr. Carla or Carla slash like jimmy carla slash oh are you talking about jimmy slash does he reviews a, a lot of uh, cold steel <laughs> is that what you're saying Mateo? i don't really know okay now oh he has limited stock of the solaris okay eggs and ham is telling me that he has limited stock of the solaris anyway thank you so much for that eggs and ham 22. now the group is amazing and uh, Blade Banter designed this. So I decided to pick one up and originally it came with the black handle and the blue. That was kind of like the original purchase. However, I added a couple extra bucks to get this variation. So let's check it out. 
So I got the jade handle with the green accents. I thought I was pretty smart doing this. I, I haven't seen a lot of these out there. Has anybody ordered this same flavor? Because I thought that I, it was pretty cool. Um, I also got the stonewashed blade. Let's check it out. One, two, three. Ooh, nice. Um, so stonewashed blade, I do love the, um, the logo. I think it does look amazing. And I have to say, I'm in love with the green combo. Eggs and ham, you have it in the same way? Well, hey, I'm glad. Cause I'm like, who would not go for this variation for the extra few bucks, you know, like it's nice. Um, so what's nice about this knife, you guys, it's a flipper as well as a thumb stud opener. Pretty cool. And it has to push the button. I think that's why it's very clear in the box um, to, um, as a closure mechanism, um, lock. Neat. I do love the clip. So I love a thin clip. It looks like it's pretty resistant and the pocket pick carry tip up. Nice. I'm excited. Um, I'll probably do a good review for, um, for him. Um, but I really wanted to get my knife, my, my hands on a knife that um, someone in the community designed. I think that's the coolest thing about this knife, honestly. And it looks really neat. I do not have any knife that looks like this. So I'm kind of uh, excited. And the cool thing too, is that I think they have something going on where, so as I, as I mentioned, right? Like this would have been black with the blue. However, they're so, so like red. I know I have seen even like a um, handle with, with weird scales, kind of like grayish look. Um, so I would probably, I mean, knowing me, I would be interested in kind of like swapping those all the time. I love that. Does it glow? No, it doesn't glow. I, I wish. Does anybody do, do like glow in the dark knives? Men, that would be awesome. Does anybody think they thought of that? I think there was, hey, Zach, isn't there a bench made um, that glows in the dark? Am I, am I like losing it? I kind of feel like there was like a one, a custom option for that. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy at this point, but I kind of feel like there was an option for it. Who's I'm thinking Mateo's going. <laughs> okay. So you guys are going to another blade show, blade show West. Where is that at? I would totally take you out on a date, but I would worry about getting checked. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. You know, as a, as a knife lover, right, I have a million knives and I carry them every single day. But from that to, you know, getting shanked, I mean, I think it's like, uh, you know, that's just too much. Yes, there's a lot of glowing stuff. Well, I need to look into that because I would actually really would love that. Seriously. Um, I think it would be a cool feature. However, I do love the action on this. This is like really smooth. And you know, I love a, a nice fidget factor. You know, I'm about you guys to do a video where I'm going to be, um, sort of, um, probably reaching out to the community to help me put this list together. But I want to do a video of why you should carry a knife, but not just, you know, like the obvious reasons, you know, like cutting and prying and batoning and like, you know, whatever it comes to mind when you think about like an EDC. I'm talking about weird stuff. Um, I think fidget factor probably is weird, but I feel like everybody does it. But I really want to come up with a, an extensive list, like a hundred item list um, where I'll do a video and I will make the, con the community contribute and uh, I'll give you guys a shout out. So if you guys have ideas, Send them over. I'm working on it already. So I think I have like 30 something. So I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> oh, it's kind of funny. So David Yoho says he has the glowing CF Adam scales. Oh, okay, cool. And then Eggs and Ham 22, he just mentioned all the um, finishes available for the Orion Solaris. Black G10, JG10. Raindrop carbon fiber. That's the one that I was looking for. Um, I couldn't remember the name. Blue, red, or green pivot colors and backspacer options. Exactly. Yeah. 
I love the green one. I don't, I mean, I don't know if I could actually pick another combo that I would like better. I think I did pretty good because I don't have any knives that look like this. So I'm pretty happy with it. Let's see. Oh, hey, Jay. Everybody say hi to Jay from All American Firearms Academy. One day I'm going to go train there. Just one day, someday. If you like fidgeting with nice balazongs, I have spent more than I'd like to admit on them. You guys, I I do love um, the fidget factor and I actually play slash train with my crambits quite a bit. Um, I just, you know, if I have to get into balazongs, you guys, I don't know if I, if I will have the storage to do this. I was about to do a video the other day because I organized my entire um, knife collection but also the boxes because the knives themselves i store them separately and then the boxes i still keep so i have a place just for boxes it's insanity um i i need to do a video of that i think you guys will enjoy it for sure um oh, let's see hey suburban tactical nation how are you doing Dr. Carla, get Streamlabs. It's free. Okay. Is Streamlabs what uh, Ray uses, uh, Everyday City Carry? I think, I think it is. I should probably do that, honestly, someday. I just feel like um, I really need to invest in a better setup, you guys. Um, so currently, I'm working on my phone, and I record every single video with my phone. Um, I do have a, 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 a ring right now um, because I um, it's nighttime and the light in my room wasn't very good. And I have a microphone. However, it's not connected at this point. But that's my bad because I forget. It's like that Movo microphone. But I really want to get a um, microphone that you can actually hook to your clothes because it will be just way, 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 way better. Um... Streamlabs links your PayPal for instant donations. Hmm. All right. You know, speaking of which, uh, isn't Streamlabs what you would need to Twitch on? I think that is because um, I really have been meaning. That's another thing that happened this week that I'm like freaking super excited about. So this week, the new release for Magic the Gathering happened for Strixhaven, which is their new kind of car release. It happens once every three months or so. And when it happens, you get a, a bunch of new cards that you can now utilize in creating your decks. And it's awesome. I, every time this happens, you know, I get like 50 plus new packs. Plus, I save all my coins, which is kind of like the um, money that you have within the game to buy more packs. So I have like enough to open 100 packs. And I would love to stream that so much. I think it would be really, really cool. And uh, I just haven't been able to because I, I do have a Twitch account. The links are all in my description, but I just haven't done it. And uh, I just feel like it's going to either one or two things. One, put me over the edge on busy. And two, it might actually um, be complicated to do. I don't really know. I do need to figure it out because I do enjoy playing the Magic, Magic the Gathering so much and I do want to share it with you guys. A lot of people on Instagram actually want me to figure out a way that I can play against my followers. So I need to get that going. I think that'd be super fun. Any Magic the Gathering players here? Any gamers here at all? So every now and then I, I feel like there's some um, nerds <laughs> like me. Hey, I have nothing against nerds. I'm the biggest one. I actually love nerds. They're the coolest. I wish like all my friends were nerds so we can all play video games all the time. Um, let's see. So John uses just Twitch or YouTube with a good mic and camera. X and Ham 22 says that if you're on PC, regular OBS, which is the Streamlabs, um, has all of it okay but he uses streamlabs for his recordings of streams okay perfect what do you stream uh eggs and ham 22 ira thank you so much thanks for being you and the pair that i love with a maraca is that a an egg maraca 
you guys i freaking love that <laughs> if i had to do that same thing if i wanted to contribute to someone's channel by doing that i would not know how to do it so you guys are amazing at figuring this out i'm already like learning so much from all of you guys telling me about stream labs and you know cool setups um you guys know i'm a noob to youtube i don't know how long you guys have been doing uh things on youtube but it has been like five months i believe for me so i'm still sort of like in the baby stages trying to figure out like setup <laughs> you know i got the content but my setup is bad terrible i shouldn't invest some money on that i'll how about this how about i will make it a thing that today i'm going to use all the money that you guys have contributed to my chat to do that Thank you so much. That is actually, I think, a good plan. I'm going to do that, like, pretty much right away. After this, I'm going to go into Amazon and try to get some cool stuff. Um, at least a stand for my phone. This is crazy, you guys. I, I, my phone is on top of a box with a backing of a pen holder. It's insane. I need to do something about this. <laughs> and, you know, I probably should buy a camera, too. I just don't know if I have the time to learn it all over again. But, um you know I'll, I'll be bad thank you ira so so much i actually sent you the stickers today here these are coming your way and if you guys i think the members of my channel chucky zach john ira everybody with the with the knives if you guys don't have my stickers please let me know so i can send them to you Israel, oh my god. <laughs> Buy what you need. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my god, that means so much. That is awesome. I I swear I'm gonna buy um I'm gonna buy a lapel microphone so you guys can hear me well. And I'll definitely um try to invest in a setup. I think I got it with the light. I think it's pretty okay. Um but I do want that that stand and, and hopefully a camera. Thank you, Israel. Oh, my God. That's awesome. That's super cool of you. I really appreciate it. And and here's the thing, you guys. I will be using, you know, initially um, my, you know, YouTube has a lot of ways that you can, you know, uh, earn some residual income, as I would call it, right? And the good thing is that for someone that like a beginner like I am, it allows you to really like take your channel to the next level. You know, you start sort of with what you have and then you continue to add up. So that's really my goal for the first year is kind of use, you know, whatever I am making in YouTube to invest back into the channel and provide you guys, you know, the users with better content. So um, I'm really excited for that. Um, and again, as I go, I learn, you know, what's good, what's bad. You know, I have already bought a couple of things that, you know, they didn't really turn out to be amazing. Um, but I also need to figure out like what kind of space I want to use. Do you want to use it he here in my room? Do I want you guys to see my pillows? They're super cute, but they make me look like a teenager and I'm far from that. Um, so I don't know, maybe, maybe I just need to figure that out, right? Maybe I need to set up a space in my house with a bunch of like cool posters with knives or something. We'll see. We'll see. I'll still think. I'll 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 come up with a good plan. I'm sure I'm sure it will come in, in a dream or something. <laughs> Super tough. Thank you, Chucky. I appreciate you. So thank you so much, Ira. That's gonna help so so much. And Israel, thank you so much. Uh, okay, so BB says that he did MTG old school using cards. Hey, I did it too. I had a whole closet full of cards. Um, I still do, but I don't use them anymore because I don't really, first of all, where I live, there are no um, nerd stores here, so I can't really um, buy anything. And um, I can't, I, I can play with people either, so I have to do it on the um, on the actual arena online now and if you haven't checked it out check it out because it's sweet you can build decks and really get get on it really well what's happening ferret ferret apocalypse thanks for putting up with my dms can i get a sticker of course absolutely 
absolutely you guys i already said you know i invested in my stickers because i wanted people to be able to have kind of like a piece of something that was mine so i'm actually like not charging for the stickers i'll send it to people in the community that want them and um i would rather you like put them somewhere proudly than just kind of like you know so that's absolutely so for an apocalypse dm me again and i'll send you the stickers david yoho thank you so much oh my god is that a cat as your profile picture that's so cute <laughs> that's amazing thank you so much thank you so so much i want to search here oh, i would have i was I, go, I was going to put search in here for you guys to see it thank you for an apocalypse thank you david um you guys are gonna make this easier for me oh my gosh i hope that by i'm gonna give myself two weeks in two weeks i will have a better setup how about that i am gonna put it as a to do in my list and in two weeks i'm gonna do this israel you want stickers send me an email or a dm on instagram penny i got you send me a dm on instagram or an email you guys super simple so youtube doesn't have a way for us to communicate right so uh the best way that you can do this is really just dm me on instagram at little fit devil i'm little fit devil everywhere so you can find me anywhere with little fit devil and my email is little fit devil at outlook.com all the there he is zach you are like the mastermind of moderating zach needs like his own like job as a moderator and i think that all the members in the community should pay him i also thought about something we should do like blade awards for like the community <laughs> <laughs> and Zach would definitely win the Blade Award moderator for Dempshire. I mean, you know, like how they do in like beauty pageants. I think we should do that. How cool would that be? So Zach here is actually throwing out all my links. You're amazing, Zach. Thank you so, so, so much. You can also um, check out all the links in my description. I have uh, all sorts of social media. However, I'm the most active on Instagram and here now. Um, I am planning on having my TikTok back up. In a couple of weeks right now it's at zero posts because i got banned from, from from opening a knife because it was like a violent activity <laughs> so i need to figure out how i'm gonna get back on tiktok you know and you know figure it out connor let me know if you need anything else just um oh you send me a dm okay as soon as i'm done with um youtube i'll be able to jump on instagram and reply to all of your dms and uh, connect with you guys that way and I'll send you guys some stickers. I promise, I have plenty. Let's see, I want to make sure. Oh, so the profile picture was a meme. Oh, that's cool, David, I love that. And Fred Apocalypse, I can't really see what's in his profile picture, but I don't even know if it's a ferret or a cat. What is that, can someone tell me? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, so Zay, hi. Oh, well, that's kind of a funny name. What are your thoughts on out the front knives as EDCs? I have my, do I have it here? Dang, I just put it away. I literally had it as, so I have, every night I keep a knife next to my bed because I like it. I had my Microtech out the front right there yesterday and I put it away today and I replaced it. But um, I love them. Actually, my out the front Microtech was my, I always tell the story, it was kind of like my second investment on a knife and one of my most expensive ones. So I like them a lot. It's just that at least mine, it's a, it's a double edge. So, you know, yes, it will cut, but it's more for self-defense in my opinion. You know, it does have the window breaker. I will do a review on it. But I feel like there's better options, like you can actually use it more as an EDC. Um, so I think it, it just, what will matter is your blade choice. Um, but they're pretty damn cool. If you can carry them in your state, if your laws uh, allow you to, then absolutely. Yeah, they're pretty damn cool. They're expensive online. I don't know if it was the special, because of a special edition, but it was a lot. <laughs> like, yeah, it was, it was a lot. Okay, Mateo, four more giveaways and because you're awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Mateo. Oh my gosh, you guys, I need to keep up. This giveaways are, um, 
there are a lot to keep up with because um, I have to, I'm sure you guys all know this about giveaways, right? But because I run it with another company, I have to actually add the participants on that, you know, post on that company plus mine. And um, I have to use an app for that. At the beginning, I used to, I used to like write everybody's names, it's nuts. So now the people that get, that get bonus entries from sharing me in their stories or whatever, I write those down, but those are, you know, manageable. But holy crap, there's a lot of work, so thank you. So thank you so much, Mateo. Oh my gosh, who's that? Suburban Tactical Nation. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you so, so much. Hey, Suburban Tactical Nation, I'm gonna, I don't know if I follow you, do I? If I'm subscribed to you, but I, I'm kind of curious to see what your um, channel is about. I'm trying to see if I, I don't have a pen or anything, but I'll make sure to come back here and uh, check you out. Thank you so much for the contribution. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great weekend as well. What time is it? Time check. Okay, 50 minutes. Okay, we're good. I'm going to be around for a few more minutes uh, just because I know people like to go out and do fun things on Saturday, unlike me. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, you know, the queen of uh, indoor having fun. Uh, I'm drinking this very strong seltzer. <laughs> I'm kidding, you guys. It's just a water. It's a strawberry water. <laughs> okay, X and Ham 22, he does knife content, perfect. You know, I always like to, you know, in the Apex Pass Around group, I went ahead and subscribed to everybody. But every now and then, you know, I, I don't wanna miss people. So I just want to make sure that I, you know, add them up and I, I follow them if, if I'm not. So thank you so, so much. Oh, who's that? Jaron Pope. Sorry, LFD. This is for your little boy. He's going to love that. Let me tell you. So you guys, thank you, Jaron. I have to tell you. So last uh, live feed, we did it with Jackson, right? And I said that whatever we would make that night that he could buy a toy, right? A good toy. So you guys like were so amazing. So we raised $125 that night and oh my God. It, it, he has been talking about this all day and all week. So the way that he decided to spend it was $20 on Minecraft. That happened pretty much right away. So he wanted to get a cool new world that he was looking for with diamonds and stuff. So we got that right away. And then he said that the $100, he actually wanted to save them for a Lego set that he's still trying to decide on. So he goes back and forth. So I told him, you know, until you actually decide which one you want, just... Let's hold off. So $100 are going to go on a Lego set, probably a fire um, station set. He does love the Lego city kind of things. So I'm sure that he's going to go for that. And then the $5, he said, you can have the mummy. <laughs> and it's funny because every day he's playing some game. And, you know, like when they tell you that you need 99 cents for something. And so he always refers to the $5. So he remember the $5 that I gave you? Can I have like the $1? <laughs> So anyway, uh, you guys made his day, week, night, everything. So I'll make sure to send pictures when we get that Lego set, which is probably going to be within the next three days or so. So it's going to be awesome. So thank you guys. And thank you, Jaron Pope, for contributing. Thank you, everybody, you guys. What a great night. I really appreciate you so, so much. So Jose Sanchez is a first time viewer, didn't know he had a channel, but knew me through Girls With Guns. Huge shout out to my girls at Girls With Guns. It's a huge, amazing community. Just, you know, just like I love the knife community, the women with guns community are just so cool because everybody's in different stages. You know, there's competition, sh competition shooters, there's um, tactical instructors, and there's people like me that, you know, have military uh, experience, but that we carry. And it's really cool to connect with people. So, um, you know, it, it's it's just a great community. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Uh, Zach does 3D modeling. You do, Zach? That's, oh, cool. Connor, Michael, thank you so, so much. I appreciate you. And, and thanks, Zach, for having conversations while I'm reading and replying to other people. So thank you so much. Nebu Cloud, Deepex in the house. <laughs> awesome. 
Oh, Suburban is part of the Beatbox Pass Around group. Okay, so then I, I, um, I probably follow him. So we're good. Beatbox. I love that. Are you Puerto Rican? No, I'm Argentinian. I was born in Argentina, um, but I am an American now. <laughs> Don't be cheating on Jamie Slash. Is he going live too? Well, if he's live, you guys, then I can go, I guess. I, I, I didn't know, I don't know Jimmy Slash personally, so I wouldn't know, really. So, thank you. Thank you, Zach. Oh, my God, this guy. Can someone get Zach a prize for the best moderator in the universe? Thank you. Thank you very much. Um. Okay, so, uh, Air today is asking, ¿Qué parte de Argentina? Um, soy de Buenos Aires. Uh, that means I am from Buenos Aires. <laughs> uh, I haven't been there for a long time, though. I, I've been in the U.S. for like 13 years now, 14. I can't, I can't even count anymore. But yeah, about that. Uh, oh, Jimmy isn't live tonight. So why do you feel like you're cheating on Jimmy? Because I like Cold Steel? <laughs> Give me the background, please. And yes, so... So Zach, he's an amazing member of the community and I'm not joking when I said he's the best moderator, but he's also like an amazing uh, person in our knife community and he does have an amazing hashtag called DSKFS, do something kind for someone. And I feel like everybody in the community really takes that to heart and it is really, really cool. Um, so thank you. Thank you, Zach, for bringing that to our community and your awesomeness. Okay, there's some fluent Spanish speakers. Uh, Connor Michael says that the app crashes and he comes back to me speaking Argentinian. <laughs> yeah, it happens, you know. Sorry about that, but every now and then it comes out because people ask me about it, so I have to kind of give it give it the rundown. Uh, so John says he appreciates meeting us ladies and he's grateful that uh, we all joined the group and that Stephen. Oh, that Stephen and him formed. We love you, Kat and the others. Thank you. Thank you, John. We appreciate you as well. The group has been such a success and it's because amazing people like put it together. So thank you so much. Um, and we're saying, how are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Zach's the man. All right. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. One minute knife reviews. How are you doing? Okay, guys, we are approaching the hour mark as usual. Thank you so much for making my Saturday night as good as it can get. Honestly, this is better for me than going out. I am not joking. Uh, so, Dr. Carla, do a stream on your pops. What does that mean, Mateo? <laughs> with my dad? Do a stream with my dad? I will do a stream with my dad when he moves to Florida. He'll He's moving next month. He will probably be here for my birthday. My birthday is coming up, you guys. Exciting. But I can't believe um, that I'm turning 34. What happened with life? I'm, I'm not sure. But I'll be 34 on May 12th. And... Um, yeah, I think my dad is actually moving uh, possibly that that week or a few days after that. So I'll be having a life with my dad, believe it. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for being here, you guys. Um, I appreciate you guys reminding people to like. I appreciate the contributions in the chat. Thank you so much for being here. If you want a sticker, don't forget to send me a message on Instagram. I'll make sure to take care of those tomorrow so I can send a bunch of stickers out. Thank you, Zach, for moderating as usual. Thank you, everybody. Um, say bye so I can give you a shout out. Bye, One Minute Knife Reviews, JC Lowe, Connor Michael, Joe M, Brian Wilkis, Rafael Mota, Nebu Cloud, Chucky, Ira, Video Garage, Timothy, David, Joe M, Spanky, Air Today, Look, Joe, Monster Racing 38. Mark H. Mateo. Oh, my dad bought my pop figures. 
Got it. Got it, Mateo. Thank you. <laughs> will do. Will do. That's funny, Mateo. You're hilarious. Brian, BB, Spanky, Israel, B, Deo Garage, David, Yoho, Green Egg. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Eggs and Ham 22. I don't know why I want to call you Green Eggs and Ham. Probably because of the book. <laughs> Michael, Timothy. Who's that? Sheldon. This should pretty well cover the Fire Lego City set. If that's the one he was, he can use $100 for something else. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Sheldon. Holy crap, Arolis. He's going to love it. I, I mean, can I take a picture of this? Yes. I'm going to screenshot this. One second. I screenshot it <laughs> with my iPad because he's going to love seeing that. Thank you so, so much. Oh, my gosh. You are amazing. Yes, I will definitely cover that Fire Lego City thing that he wants. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my God, I can't wait to tell him tomorrow. Thank you, Sheldon. I appreciate you. If you want a sticker, please DM me. I would love to um, return the favor some way. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Ivy Freed, Michael S., Mark H., Luke Hossum. I be free to one minute I've reviews, David Yoko, uh, Bruda Miranda, Mateo, Zach, Sheldon. Again, thank you so much. Everybody have a great night and an amazing weekend. Bye, Ira. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you guys again next week. And I'll do some dancing maybe. No, I'm kidding. I won't. <laughs> Bye, Penny. Bye, Jose. And bye, everybody. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much.